Well, Donovan, you're taking on the Wembley to Qatar challenge with one of our partners, Kaleidoscope. Just talk us through how you're going to be helping them with that challenge. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, when I sat down with Monica um, and spoke about the challenge, um, which is a really important thing to raise awareness and funds for Kaleidoscope, um, it... it touched a chord with me and I really wanted to be part of it um, some of the things that I personally would be doing is obviously trying to bring more attention and more awareness to the cause um, obviously doing my running and bike sessions here at the club um, and just posting about it and trying to get as much people to sign up and um, just be part of the challenge and make fun of it in a sense to enjoy um, doing the work and one of the really good points about this challenge um, that Monica brought to my attention was you don't have to go out your way to do this this is something you could partake in in your everyday life if you're taking your dog for a walk or if you go for a weekly 5k run you could just sign up and post it and uh, do the hashtag and try and raise some funds it's all about those little bits, isn't it? They all add up, and if everybody's doing exactly the same thing, I know a lot of the office staff down at the, the stadium are doing exactly the same thing. If everybody chips in, they all add up, don't they? 100%, and I, I really liked the fact that the, the staff down at the stadium are taking part in it, and it's, it's a community thing, but also trying to reach as many people across the country as, as we can. Um, and it, it, I love the fact that the Walsall staff and myself and we want the fans to get involved and um, I'm trying to get a few more of the boys to get involved and just keep it going, keep the, the message out there and as I said, um, bring awareness to, to the importance of uh, mental health and um, bring, bring vital funds to what is needed. When this was first announced with yourself, you spoke about how mental health was something that has been talked about quite a bit in your household at the moment. I suppose, why is that? I think that's, a, that's a, an important question. Why is it being spoken about by yourself? Well, 100%. Um, in, in my household, me and my missus, uh, we're, we're vocal and my missus works in mental health um, and she's nearing the end of her, um, reaching her qualifications to go and be a fully fledged um, practitioner um, so I wanted to be a supporting role for her to obviously sit down and when she comes home there's tough topics to talk about and for me obviously I personally went through my own struggles a few years ago I lost my mum around this time um, and it was tough and I didn't really know what to do, how to cope with it and it took time and um, friends and family and support to go and find the right outlet to to speak about my own trauma and w when you're in football people think that it's just it's just well you just got, got to get on with it but life doesn't stop, football doesn't stop so I needed to um, really understand what I could do and what was the best ways to do it. So I had a lot of support at the time from the club when I was at Blackpool and they allowed me to go and basically regain my uh, my clarity and my focus. And I just think that this cause, this uh, challenge, this charity kaleidoscope is amazing what they do. And I was more than happy and so excited to be part of it and get on board with it for my own challenges and for to learn as well to so I could be an, the best supporting person I could be for my partner so grief is often something that onsets mental health issues and I know especially in men it can be quite difficult to then go and talk about it and having a challenge like this can often give people a focus so I suppose that is another good reason for for supporting it. 100% like there's so many statistics out there with with men and how they struggle and struggle in silence most of the time and 
um, you mentioned off camera that this week is m mental health week for, for men and I think we have to continue to open the door to these conversations and be be helpful and um, be an advocate for people to continue to speak so we, we could all feel comfortable because no one should suffer in silence especially in such an important topic like this and we just have to be as helpful and supportive as we can. I think something that head coach Michael Flynn has mentioned to me in a, a pre-match press conference at times is as a group of players you've been able to out each other at times when things haven't gone wrong and I suppose as the captain it's vitally important for the players to know that if they are struggling at any point during their time here that the door is always open from the head coach and from yourself should they need to talk as well. 100% and that is something I pride myself in because we, we have a, a youngish group um, and there's always challenges throughout the seasons, highs and lows and it's not just so much managing the lows but managing the highs and when the boys sometimes need to be brought back down to earth in the nicest way possible, I'll be there and when the boys need to have a conversation, whether it's just something they don't want to bring to the gaffer or bring to the other group, the rest of the group, I'll be there. And we, we, we've, we've struck a nice balance with um, challenging each other vocally, mentally, but also accepting each other for who we are and keeping that as open and as honest with each other. And I have so much respect for these boys because their respect between each other is of high accord and it, and as long as that continues we will be a very very good team